I wish all of you the best on your final exams. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Simply Charnay, or it's simply me being me. And this week, I just wanted to give you guys a couple tips to help you through your finals week. I know for many of us, we're going through finals and we never know how to study just to get those good grades and so that you're ready to take your exam. So I've come up with five tips that I think are very important if you are trying to be successful on your finals. My first tip for you is to check back and read your old notes because by the end of the semester you've probably forgotten what you've talked about the first day of classes so by reading your notes from the beginning you can refresh your mind and remember the key concepts that your teacher or professor talked about in the beginning of the class and my second tip would be to use your old tests and your old homework problems to practice especially if you're in a class like math because if you use your old test, those are probably the more challenging problems that your professor gave you. And if you can master these problems, you will probably be prepared. Well, you will be prepared when you take your test. And because you already know what, what types of problems the professor threw those at you. This is actually what I did when I took my calculus class because I was really nervous about the final. And my professor actually went to his office hours and he told me that I should practice the old test problems, practice the old quiz problems. And by doing that, it was, I was able to prepare myself and be able to use um, all the different concepts that I had learned in the class. Now this brings me to my third tip is to go to your professor, your teacher and ask them what do you think the best way to study for this final would be to do and I feel like this tip works good even if you're online or if you're in person because by going to them they know that you are seeking help and you want to know like the best way to do stuff and learn how to grow and be better but also they made the test so if they're telling you specific tips that they think that will help you to study well and get a good grade they have the best advice that you could get from anyone uh, my fourth tip would be to go back and look in the glossary of your textbook and this helps especially if you're in like a history course or a literature or any type of i guess course where you have to read a lot you're reading a lot of text and by looking at the glossary, it'll give you like a, like a summary of the ideas or um, just all the key words that they talk about. And by looking at the glossary, it'll also break down these words or um, vocab that you would need to know for the specific class. And I use this a lot when, during my government class because my chapters were about 25 to 30 pages long. and. I couldn't focus enough to just sit back and read all 30 of those pages. So what I did was um, look at my glossary terms and by learning the glossary terms, I was able to um, get a good understanding of the chapter. And when I talked to one of my classmates um, who had read the chapter, we were pretty much on the same page with the knowledge that we had. And this brings me to my final tip. My favorite app to use whenever I study is Socratic because it can help you um, find different sources online to help you um, understand how to do problems in math, history, whatever subject that you're in. Um, and I'll show you an example with my calculus study guide from last semester. So all you have to do is um, open the app. Just a second. I have to it on but yes so you just open the app and you go on the camera and you just take a picture of the topic you're trying to talk about and I'm just gonna go ahead and crop the section that I need for this topic as you can see on the screen and then you press the next button and whenever you do that it takes you to a screen that will show you different sources that could help you with this topic and this is like um, identifying intervals and it will give you like this graph right here it will even give you videos on YouTube or other places and then you can also see Khan Academy stuff shows up here too so like there's lots of different um, resources that it pulls up for you in a matter of seconds and also say if you're in 
a chemistry class. So you can look up chemical balancing. Balancing. Um, and you could also find like different things like this. And it's very simple, as you can see. And I'm just doing it right now. So yeah, like these tips are great for students because many of us, whenever it comes down to the finals week, we get stressed out. But really, if you just can use my five tips right here, you will do great on your exams and you'll be prepared and have like great knowledge when it comes time to take your test. And I wish all of you the best on your final exams and I hope that my tips help you yeah so that's all i have for you today so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and um turn on that notification bell so you're notified the next time i post a video and if you also have any tips of your own you can go ahead and leave a comment to help other people who may see this video and i'll see you next time bye